a lot of people don't get jobs because they are complaining about random things. Uncle Go Clips. There's the interview that's kind of next on my mind. Is there something that people are doing incredibly wrong on interviews that should be corrected? Or some of the best practices that have to be done on an interview? A lot of people don't get jobs because they are complaining about random things. It mm. doesn't matter. Ex-manager, ex-colleague, ex-project, ex-whatever. Because, um, you know, why would you change job? Because you hate your last one or most cases that's the, the, the reason um so i would say it's it's a number of things that you have to take into consideration when applying for a job and having an interview <laughs> one is motivation and being proactive so you go to another job and you don't show them that you want to run from the past but you want to embrace the future it's just the mindset Mm. and oh i don't want to leave because this happened there but because i need more now um, more as things you want to achieve uh, progression um, learn new things etc um, being with the best on the market which kind of tickles their ego uh, oh i want to be with you guys because i know you're top of the top and they're like ah, <laughs> thank you yeah yeah that works <laughs> It is, it is, of course it works. Um, and then last one being salary. Never focus on the salary. It has to be subtle, very subtle to make them understand. But I was making this until now, if you want to be transparent, I need 10, 20% more or 50% more because I'm worth it. I know my value on the market now. If you're interested, okay, if not, you know, good reasons so this would be kind of the first step um then the kind of how you dress how you behave how you sh from how you shake hands but now in some countries you can't shake hands anymore because of the whole covid crap but honestly because of a shake uh, sorry yeah a handshake you can actually tell a lot of things about the person and I'm not joking, it is true. Because until you learn how to shake hands, you're not yet mature enough when it comes to people interaction. You're not. When you, sh you know, shake a, a flaky hand, you're like, yeah, very soft person, afraid of everything, not secure on, you know, who I am, what I'm doing, etc. in life. And then you say that through a handshake. Germans know it. You know, and a lot of people know it, like in sales, in recruitment, everybody knows it. You shake hands, watch persons, the person's eyes. So you shake hands with 10 persons, you repeat their names, you watch their eyes, and it's a firm grip, firm grip, not too, too strong. I had people that I thought they broke my hand, honestly. Yeah. Mm. Dude, you're not Hulk. Chill the hell down, you know? Um, so firm handshake dress well you don't have to be a president but you have to be decent and um, respectable towards the business mm -hmm. so if you're going to be uh, uh, i don't know a window cleaner of course like chill uh, casual but if you're going from for a you know kind of business type of role or going to work in a bank for doing something even as an it kind of a staff um you know at least a shirt yeah. Have the decency to dress, you know, kind of okay. Um, then when you speak with people, communication, listen to them, do not talk over them, um, be patient, uh, don't be negative, don't um, interrupt. Um, if it's a phone interview, be sure you're in a quiet place, you don't have distractions, phone on mute. Uh, it's, it's basic stuff that people still don't do. So they go on interviews and they just mess up things at the basic yeah. level. You, you know what I think um, is one of the bigger ones as well? Uh, sorry for interrupting mm, there, but it just worries. came to mind. Uh, just a smile. Like people forget that. It's a small detail, but doing like Always. a smile. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a, a fixed smile where you're smiling all the time. Being like, yeah, yeah, you know, like hypnotized. No, not like that. Like a genuine smile 
just to show like positive energy and good intent. And um, I think it shows like um, a lot of character as well. Um, also, a little bit of humor helps. Like I wouldn't overdo it in the first interview. No, of course. Um, no, no, no. But uh, just like... Show that you're different a bit. Yeah, just... just and you're relaxed. Exactly. Um, yeah. I think some people take uh, interviews too serious and then they stiffen up too much and then they're too rigid and then they're only like like their CV, only stats. I worked for five years here, two years here. I did this, I programmed. Don't be a robot. <laughs> and then they're robotic and then they basically don't show personality at all. And um, it might be okay for some places where they want people to be just like, working robots but uh, for uh, to develop your career better you need to show personality because in the long run you will just end up unhappy on, on the inside and um, I don't think that's a smart business move at all and it's exactly the same on interview go there relaxed smile all the time even if you're on the phone and people don't see you smile when yeah. you speak and you smile people can feel it yeah. and then they smile back so then you have a nice feeling. It's, 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 it's cool. It's, you know, everybody's in the good vibe. Yeah. After that, everything can flow. This would be kind of focusing on this is kind of behavior, behavioral things. And then when it comes to kind of um, questions type that people would ask you on an interview, you have to prepare a bit. In case they ask you this, in case they ask you that. So prepare. Do a search on... Uh, Google top questions asked on a specific type of interview and you will usually find those questions. So HR questions first. So this is something that everybody should do. You're going for an interview, top questions on an, H, uh, an HR person would ask. 10, 15, 20, whatever. And look at them and try to understand because usually you can find the answers as well. And try to understand the logic. Why would they ask this? And why would you answer that? So you need to understand the logic, not what you have to say, the logic of it. What is the, the flow they want to go through on the interview? And then you can say, yeah, this, this or that. And then you would not fail an interview with HR person, persons. So HR persons fail maybe around half of people, but the reasons are usually stupid, like completely stupid, like have nothing to do with anything. It's just you didn't know what to say. You are too kind of focused on your own stuff and didn't know how to handle that, which is, mm -hmm. it's, it's lame because you got the interview. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. just had to play, you know, do the courting. And that's it. It's basically a courting session between you and that, uh, that person. How and much then, do you recommend people prepare before the interview? Like five minutes a day before uh, an hour? Like what do you tell people how to prepare? Good question. I would say minimum half an hour to an hour for each, each job. Mm -hmm. Who the company is, what they're doing, what their purpose is, a bit about kind of any kind of... Um, LinkedIn research, for example, what's the number of employees they have, things they've posted in the last few couple or three months, whatever. Yeah. Um, because it would show that you've done your homework, you're really interested, and yeah, you're worth having a chat with. Mm -hmm. So we have candidates, for example, that go on interviews and they have no clue who they talk to. Yeah. Like the company, I'm not even talking about what the interviewer is, which they should know from the start. Because mm -hmm. when you get the confirmation, you get an email or something. Okay, let's say it doesn't happen, but at least you know which, which the com what company it is, what they're doing. So <clears throat> if you don't do this, you're autom automatically, um, in most cases, you're automatically um, disregarded. Makes no sense to speak with somebody who doesn't have five minutes to do research on us. Yeah. It just doesn't. Um, then you have the kind of questions you have to to focus on within your field so let's say that you work as a i don't know a biochemist or something in a specific niche okay what kind of questions would somebody ask you think about them or google them if you're a technical guy let's say i don't know you work with uh, chips and stuff, whatever. Uh, you do a search on what kind of questions would somebody ask you on that. Again, just to kind of get a sense of, and then your mind is prepared because people, a lot of people have to have a state of mind and be prepared for a certain type of interview. Mm 
Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.